My book Nurture Their Nature looks at the whole person and complete learning differences including the nature and nurture of the neurodifference. To dispel learning apathy to be successfully, we need to look at the whole person and their neurosomatic learning functions. For learning apathy which includes motivation and resilience, meaning, to be successful, you need to have a strong cognitive, behavioral, and effective spiritual components which include the following. A healthy and functional physiological, sensory motor systems, thymus, which is our exteroception and interoception, our senses, including our sensory system, especially visual and auditory, along with central and peripheral nervous systems vagus nerve which is regulates the RAS and ACC slash HPA, pons, parts of the brain, and biofield, including electromagnetic field, internal chakras, neuroplasticity and IQ, positive perceptions specifically strength and empathy, along with reduced perceptions of anger and shame, hormones released such as serotonin, dopamine, cortisol along with autonomy, for meaning, speed processing, and long-term memory, and attunement, for meaning and motivation, speed processing, and short-term memory. Therefore, when learning difficulties occur, our neurobiology, neurosystems, central and peripheral nervous system, complete chakra, and electromagnetic systems are all dysfunctioning or dysregulating simultaneously and individually at different degrees and causing abnormal neuroplasticity. Our goal is for all our systems and senses to function equalized, activated, and balanced. With a functional system, the child can trust themselves through spiritual mindset with self-directed neuroplasticity through ABCs and gain God-awareness, eventually unity, through PYAM. For learning to be successful, we need to look at the whole person and their neurosomatic learning functions. Trisha Cook Again, speaking of the whole person you need to examine every aspect of their learning, not just the end goal or result which is literacy and their appropriate learning behavior. Now, we know epigenetics relating to learning influences of generational anger and shame have the ability of being healed and determines which genes will be expressed and how their own systems will function. The main goal is to heal our very own DNA holistically through exercises and activities which block or ease the production of specific inflammatory proteins, toxicity, excreted by the gut-brain axis, decreasing biochemical reactions that happen between the pineal, pituitary, adrenal and carotid glands along with by activating and aligning the thymus, via vagus nerve chakra, and pons, RAS and ACC slash HPA, all to major and soma chakras, causing decrease in deficiencies while regulating our own biofields, including electromagnetic fields. This is the divine stamp where you are regulated and experiencing harmony, honor, wisdom, and becoming devoted to your purpose. You need to again, Speaking of the whole person you need to examine every aspect of their learning, not just the end goal or result which is literacy and their appropriate learning behavior. Ways to look at neurodifferences holistically. Observe and take observational notes on the child. 50% nature 50% nurture, focus on epigenetics and spiritual mindset along with self-directed neuroplasticity. What is epigenetics? Retrieved from the answer to the nature vs. Nurture debate. Twin image. Image. Disclaimer. This communication may contain privileged and slash or confidential information. It is intended solely for the use of the addressee. If you are not the intended recipient, you are strictly prohibited from disclosing, copying, distributing, or using any of this information. If you received this communication in error, please contact the sender immediately and destroy the material in its entirety whether electronic or hard copy. This evaluation, program, and suggestions are not to be substituted for professional medical advice. They should not be used to diagnose or prescribe. Trisha is not a doctor. Nature is the maturation of the brain and body. For the purpose of survival, it is the ability to perceive, give meaning, learn, and act including motivation and resilience of our very own environments, patterns first. Speaking of the whole person the vagus nerve connects the brain stem to the body. It also connects and aligns the chakras, pons, RAS and ACC slash HPA and thymus including their own biofield, 
including electromagnetic field. This vagal balance allows the brain stem to receive the information, formulating patterned neural connections, from the environment, the midbrain to monitor and receive information, firing pattern of brain nerve cells in a network, and the frontal lobe to perceive the universal emotions which are the following. Anger, strength, joy, bliss, shame, empathy, courage, compassion, and harmony. Executive functioning involves logic through analysis or evaluation. Initially, the thymus is where the mind deems how important based on cellular memory, what or why. Then on to the frontal lobe where the why is based on context cues, evaluation, and the what is based on recursive aspects, analysis. The vagus nerve controls vagal balance and the executive functioning system, via the thymus vagus nerve chakra. The thymus including the vagus nerve can be deactivated, hyperactivated, hypoactive, underdeveloped, or variably then going inactive in children, adults too. Therefore, releasing specific inflammatory proteins at the gut-brain axis which can be toxic to the triune brain retrieved from Sunny Sea Gold updated January. Here's how the, in the field of psychology, emotions are not just our feelings as some may think. Emotions are our feelings, thoughts, ideas, perceptions, physical sensations, and involve the senses and their systems all for which start in the mind. They create what we call mindset needing a calm mindset for equanimity is key. Our God mindset regulates every love or fear experience we have and our very purpose of being here on earth. The emotions need to be honored, especially anger and shame. The theory of mind is an assessment of an individual human's degree of capacity for empathy and strength. As well as our understanding of ourselves and others have a mind too. Where the mind is located has been a continuous debate I propose that the mind at least begin in our very own thymus. The thymus is the center of both our higher and lower self. It is the epicenter of a vagus nerve highway including the interchanges from our gut brain axis to our pons, RIS including ACC and HPA, both housed within the brain, which all control every system in the human body. The thymus can be overtaken by love or fear it is where our consciousness and superconsciousness, consciousness and subconscious can join in unity, begins and ends. The attitude depends on the student finding motivation and meaning for their learning. One's attitude for learning makes for a make or break type learning. Trisha Cook In the field of child psychology, every attitude has three components that are represented in what is called the ABC model of attitudes. A for effective, B for behavioral, and C for cognitive. Although every attitude has these three components, any particular attitude can be based on one component more than another. Study.com 2020. Dot. The naming of the word attitude as it relates to students' learning can give someone a negative perception. Parents ask me all the time, can you help me with my child's attitude? The attitude one has for learning makes for a make or break type learning. I observe kids all the time with responsive system dysfunction, RSD, which means it is hard to find meaning and motivation for learning. When your child is learning under stress, fear, and having RDS, they are learning from their mental or emotional bodies, primarily with a sympathetic, anger, functional system which is a hyper-processing dysfunction and parasympathetic, shame, Functional system dysfunction which is a hypoprocessing dysfunction or both anger slash shame which is a total functional dominance system which is a varied hyper, hypo dysfunction of the RAS, rectangular activation system. This hyper, hypo, and varied dominance affects the whole person. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Philippians 2 colon 5 Specifically, the mental body is anger brain dominant and perceives in the heart everything related to learning with anger. The emotional body is shame brain dominant and perceives in the heart everything related to learning with shame. According to my good friend, Tom Heinz, an emotional code practitioner creator of the body code, references Christine H., MS, LMHC, Hammond 2018. Anxiety, anger and shame is one emotion that can be passed down from one generation to the next. Also, there are ten emotions that can also be inherited through family trauma, parental modeling, and slash or abusive behaviors. 
For those who struggle with sensory triggers and learning stressors, like when experiencing reading or writing, these negatively perceived and filtered experiences with anger and shame, can cause a trauma type of developmental anxiety and sometimes even depression. Heinz, 2020, also refers to this following excerpt from Christine Hammond, MS, LMHC, 2018. Anger There are three main types of unhealthy anger. Aggressive anger, passive aggressive anger shame, and suppressive anger hatred not kids usually all of which can negatively affect a child. For example, if a parent is aggressively angry by yelling, their child might grow up to mimic the same behavior or learn to redirect it into their own manifestation of anger. Shame hearing words from parents such as, you will never be good enough, or you are stupid, attack the heart of who a person is. Sadly enough, shaming tactics are pervasive in hyper-religious homes where a child is told that they have to live up to some unrealistic standard and very frequently are practiced by the child on others once they have been exposed to such treatment generational healing. Tom at Thibo D.Y. 2020. In 2018, I created my Albert Trademark Responsive System Dysfunction, RSD, checklist which is Functional System Dominance Checklist. I have found in over four dozen students what I always knew. That they develop anger first, if not given a healthy, safe, and supportive environment for their anger. Also, anger can develop into shame. Then, the shame will be more dominant. Albert Trademark SYSM slash PARA checklist and resources are important for those working with neurodifferences because shame is harder to address than anger. Shame is the defense for anger and survival of some people. Some people though are less susceptible to shame and remain in anger. I have found more times than not where just anger has been marked, especially in younger students. Note, if anger and shame are not addressed at a young age, it can turn into hatred and grief. Also, anger appears anxiously, hyperactivity, and shame appears sadly depressed, hypoactivity. Together with both anger and shame, someone can appear anxious and sad. With shame being the hardest, their body may appear calm but internally their mind can be ruminating on negative thoughts, feelings, ideas, and emotions which can be hard to know unless your child shares them with someone. Therefore, the checklist and interview are so important. I interview the students and their parents, teachers too preferably, where an X means most of the time in their learning environment and A slash means some of the time in their learning environment, see image, image, 1, image 1.0, neuroplasticity allows the neurons, nerve cells, in the brain to compensate for injury and disease and to adjust their activities in response to new situations or to changes in their environment, De also, I am needing to mention developmental trauma and learning something new, switching content and context frequently. When a child with neurodifferences is learning something new or stressful, if mindset is perceived with anger, SFD, we can observe lessened neuroplasticity of the midbrain, right lobe, and constant speed shifting, accelerated or unvaried, of the prefrontal cortex, frontal lobe along with midbrain, left lobe and emotional disorders with long-term memory problems. Likewise, if the mindset is perceived with shame, PFD, we can observe lessened neuroplasticity of the prefrontal cortex, frontal lobe along with midbrain, left lobe, and constant speed shifting, slow or unvaried, of the midbrain, right lobe, along with more executive functioning issues and short-term memory problems or midbrain. We can attribute this constant speed shifting to the common problems of poor neuroplasticity. Likewise, the lacking a self-directed neuroplasticity such as positive mindset such as mind trusting qualities of belief. I am worthy, autonomy, and I am enough, attunement, feeling safe and secure in their environment. There are several other factors for successfully expelling learning apathy such as with gaining resilience, meaning, and motivation such as sleep, diet, health and wellness, physical activity, body, regulation of vagus nerve, soul-body connection, sometimes even the spirit-soul-body connection, much older teens, gratitude including love of self and others, heart connection. Also, 
the environment that most of us live in today causing sensory overload along consistently multitasking and slash or context switching, handling two or more tasks at the same time, especially in this complex, non-connected, yet, connected, neurotoxic and EMF toxic infused environment all decreasing our very own electromagnetism and vagal tone. Image 2. Chapter 2. Specifically, if the vagal system is comprised including the following areas of the brain. Anterior cingulate cortex, ACC, and vibrating the Alta Major Chakra. The cinguat gyrus, kin, is a large arch-like lobe in the center of the inner brain that is a part of the limbic system. It houses the organs, and their interactions constitute the anterior cingulate cortex, ACC shame and the main function of this area of the brain functions to process conscious emotional experience in the parasympathetic nervous system, right side. The ACC plays an important part of conscious reappraisal of emotions such as shame slash empathy and anger slash strength for the eros. Note, the amygdala, bulb at bottom not shown in pic, is where the singuat gyrus, kin, first receives perceptions from the mind via the thymus via the peripheral cranial slash CNS nerves, then onto the ACC. A hyper, hypo amygdala works harder and the VACC can get dysregulated, shame mainly. Image. 3 to 2.0, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis is a complex set of direct influences and feedback interactions among three components. The hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, and the adrenal glands associated with the soma chakra and anger. These organs and their interactions constitute the HPA, anger, axis, a major neuroendocrine system that controls reactions to stress and regulates many body processes, including digestion, the immune system, and the sympathetic nervous system, frontal lobe slash left side. Note, like above, the amygdala, bulb at bottom not shown in pic, is where the singuat gyrus, Kin, first receives perceptions from the mind, cellular memory anger mainly, via the thymus, via the peripheral cranial slash CNS nerves, then onto the ACC. Retrieved from the brain net 2020 image. 4 to 2. The vagus nerve is one of the cranial nerves that connect the brain to the body. More specifically, it is the connection between the brain and the gastrointestinal tract. Likewise, the vagus nerve has two bunches of sensory nerve cell bodies, and it connects the brain stem to the body and vagal nerves carry somatic and visceral afferents that can alter the activity of the brain stem at the point of the reticular activation centers, RIS. Remember the RIS and ACC, shame, slash HPA, anger, also allows the brain to monitor and receive information about several of the body's different functions and matters of the mind including the perceptions and filters of the parasympathetic, shame, sympathetic, anger, and total, anger slash shame, response system during stress such as reading. When you activate the chakras, major 8 and soma slash alta major HPA, anger, slash ACC, shame, and normalize balance the vagal tone and electromagnetic field, it will stop the epigenome which are again the collection of chemicals markers, focus. Inherently dyslexia. This interruption will allow the body to then calm, be healthy, resilient, gain positive attitudes, joy, bliss, and happiness, and make learning more pleasurable and effective. Therefore, also the reticular activating system, RIS, needs to be activated via the vagus nerve, Thymus vagus nerve chakra. The ascending reticular activating system, ARAS, itself is on the cerebral cortex and is responsible for the achievement of super consciousness, higher transpersonal self. Note, 1998, disorders of consciousness, DOC, represent a big and multi perspective challenge of contemporary clinical neuroscience. First, Measuring consciousness and identifying the mechanisms of unconsciousness are still open issues that neuroimaging and neurophysiology are trying to answer with different and complementary image. 5 to 2 includes, remember the vagus nerve also connects the brain stem to the body. The vagus nerve also is connected to the eight chakras via RIS and ACC, shame, slash HPA, anger, by activating the eight chakras including the soma slash alta major via the vagus nerve 
it can continue doing its job of helping us connect our brain stem to the body. Hence, regulating our biofield, including electromagnetic fields. One of the major goals of the paper and program includes holistic alternatives and activities for equanimity and to block or ease the production of specific inflammatory proteins and chemicals, toxicity, excreted at the gut-brain axis via the vagus nerve, align and balance the eight chakras, soma slash alta major also, including pons, RIS, and ACC, shame, slash HPA, anger, areas of the brain to regulate our own biofields aka senses, including electromagnetic fields. Also, for the thymus, vagus nerve chakra, to become regulated and balanced. Corpus callosum links both hemispheres and to varying degrees. Hence students might have a lateral cognitive dominance of the functioning system the students with the right hemisphere dominance have parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, and might have dysphonetic dyslexia because language and analysis, breakdown category and sequencing, which is a left hemisphere task. Therefore, students with right hemisphere dominance might have high functioning autism, can have language deficits such as dysphonetic, auditory, dyslexia. Unilateral neglect, or hemispatial neglect, slash total functioning system dominance, TFD, student might have high functioning autism along with other learning differences, below. Someone prominent in right brain, ACC, has an unawareness of objects to one side of the body or personal space. In severe cases, a side can be completely ignored when carrying out certain tasks and everyday functions such as writing so may have dysgraphia. But another important brain function is controlled by either the right side of your brain or the left side of your brain depending on your handedness. Sympathetic functioning system dominance, SFD, student has total, see below, or left corpus callosum dysfunction then having a total right or left lateral hemisphere dominance, HPA, evaluation, specifically color, shape, size and dimension, is a right hemisphere task. Those with a sympathetic functioning system dominance, SFD, therefore, might have autism, Irland syndrome, and sciidetic, visual, dyslexia. Unilateral neglect, or hemispatial neglect, slash total functioning system dominance, TFD, students might have autism, lower functioning, along with other learning differences, below. Someone with dominant frontal lobe or the, left, dominant temporal lobe, SFD, can cause a condition called aphasia, which is a serious disturbance of speech and communication. Functional disconnection slash complete functioning system dominance syndrome when the short-term memory aka working memory is not equalized, then the information being led by the corpus coliseum to the frontal lobe for executive functioning becomes deficient when in adults hatred and grief are involved. Whether the corpus coliseum is underdeveloped or deficient in its development for example, there can be blockage, protein folding, insufficient synapse development, premature pruning, poor fluid to transfer synapse message, etc. Also, if the corpus coliseum, the short-term memory is compromised this is also known as mixed brain dominance or dysphagia and forms of autism. With just a sympathetic functional system dominance, SFD, they perceive in the mind everything with anger during stressful experiences. When they have a parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, in the mind, they filter and attune themselves to everything with shame. When we have both anger and shame in the mind, see child sample above, this is called a total learning system dysfunction, TLSD, which creates. This creates almost complete soul body disconnect, dysregulation, due to constant learning aka cognitive speed shifting, hyper. Hypo and varied, which tires out the brain's, RIS, rectangular activation system, chakras 6 8th, including soma and alta major chakras, pons, crown chakra, and thymus, vagus nerve chakra, much quicker than the aligned and balanced learning brain and body, which, in turn, lessens neuroplasticity. When our very own DNA generationally predispositions with dysfunctions of the rectangular activation system, pons, and thymus and for learning differences, anger and shame predispositions, 
all our systems and senses can have any dysfunctions, and therefore, we can have body-soul disconnection in the mind. Mind you again, learning apathy is complicated and that the spirit-soul-body-slash-connection-trust-love disconnection causes maladjustment and belonging in this world. Do not worry, our spirit, soul, and body connection can also be complicated to a point, if we understand that we are love and not meant for fear. Think about it this way, when your child has a hypo or hyper, total responsive system dysfunction, RSD, their learning decreases due to disconnections to others themselves, soul body disconnection of consciousness, perceptions of anger slash shame along with assimilation, meaning and motivation, of those perceptions. Sadly, the students who have RSD dysfunctions, they can become labeled learning disabled amongst other labels. Therefore, they are not learning effectively, cognitively, or behaviorally on a conscious level nor helped in a way that is revolutionary nor effective. People with a neurodifference, approximate. 23% of population, learn from pathos to ethos All atypical people learn ethos to pathos but there is a missing third component for all learning for everyone the authentic self, thymus. R-A-S-H-B-A and A-C-C, the body and breath of Jesus. The pathos the why is the pons, body. Pons, the heart and breath of Holy Ghost, 1 to 3, 4 to 8. The ethos the what is the R-A-S equals H-B-A. Thymus, the mind and soul spirit connection of God, 9 to 12. The authentic self, the true question slash answer, is the thymus, high heart. Image. 6. Note. A total learn image. 7 to 2.3 includes some vagus nerve and RIS vibrating all to major chakra, asterisk aka God awareness chakra. The reticular activating system, RIS, is a network of neurons, hyper, hypo, or, varied, located in the brain stem that project anteriorly to the hypothalamus to mediate behavior such as sleep, memory, and learning. As well as, both posteriorly to the thalamus and directly to the cortex for activation of awake, desynchronized cortical EEG patterns. It is holistically and spiritually known from being a center where we can create our own reality whether positive, negative, or neutral. Knowing, what we focus on in our mind, thymus, pons, dream center, then comes to fruition here in our RAS. The ACC, C-top, is part of RAS, pineal gland, pituitary gland, associated with the Alta Major Chakra and shame. HPA, C-top, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, associated with the Soma Chakra and anger. Both are associated with the thymus chakra aka vagus nerve chakra. Note, important RIS info. Includes the following excerpt. The RIS is said to be the gas pedal slow, hypo, accelerate, hyper, or varied cognitive speed processing that ignites the diencephalon, the hypothalamus and thalamus, as well as the cortical areas where all long-term memory slash storage takes place of the brain, Petty 1996. Image. 8. Image 4.1 Pons illustration works with the Pons integrates both the medulla oblongata and the thalamus. Note. The importance of conscious reappraisal of emotions, emotional reappraisal, such as shame slash empathy and anger slash strength for the eros. In the thalamus, students can have a slow, hypo, accelerated, hyper or varied processing and they have a problem with sensory integration disorders and emotional intensity or insensitivity with their neurodifference. The pons, like the RAS, is responsible for arousal, hyper, hypo, and varied. Plus, the pons connects areas of the brain that controls autonomic functions, parasympathetic, shame, slash sympathetic, anger. Acting or occurring involuntarily, without conscious control, in the somatic nervous system such as sleep and histamine inhibitors. The part of the peripheral nervous system that transmits signals from the central nervous system to skeletal muscles, and from receptors of external stimuli such as mediating sight, hearing, and touch and movement including speaking with conscious control, RIS all to major chakra, crown chakra specifically via the thymus, vagus nerve chakra. 
The pawns controls our breath known as life. God gave us the life, so we can be the breath of God, leading a pure and blameless life. The pawns just does not serve to help the different lobes communicate but also is the veil of God. The pawns area also contains the trapezoid body, RIS, where you can vocalize sounds. This allows us to sing, praise and speak, and share his word hallelujah. Since the pawns and the thymus, see below, as well as the RIS work together, students with sympathetic functional system dominance, SFD, can have problems seeing God and feeling worthy for God awareness they need circumstantial evidence or can go to extreme become ultra-religious constantly breaking down the Bible and religion or non-religious. Those with a parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, have problems hearing God and feeling enough for God awareness being calm in the mind being present and ruminating on past slash future a must. Pons is addressed more in my Albert trademark program includes PYAM and RAS exercises body, breath, calm through prayer, yoga, affirmation, and meditation which connects us to God see section below. Note, students with sympathetic functional system dominance, SFD, and parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, have high allergy rates and sleep disturbances, see other complications below. Image 4.1a Note, for those with dysphonetic, auditory, and sciidetic, visual surface, dyslexia, the medial longitudinal fasciculus of the pons carries information about the direction that the eyes should move. It connects the cranial nerve nuclei 3, oculomotor nerve, 4, trochlear nerve, and 6, abducens nerve, together, and integrates movements directed by the gaze centers, frontal eye field, and information about head movement, from cranial 8, vestibulocochlear nerve which the vestibulocochlear nerve is unusual in that it primarily consists of bipolar neurons. It is the nerve responsible for the special senses of hearing, via the cochlear nerve, and balance, via the vestibular nerve. Then the cochlea detects the magnitude and frequency of sound waves. Students with dyslexia have tendency for speech deficits and chronic ear infections, auditory as well as visual processing issues and sometimes balance and conflicting signals in the inner ear, eyes, and sensory receptors. Image 9. Image 4. Retrieved from Google Image. The cranial nerves are controlled by the vagus of the peripheral nervous system. See Image 10. Peripherals to see an image. 11. Has an effect to peripheral, thymus, 12th chakra and all chakras, high heart and mind, upper or higher heart chakra, asterisk aka god unity chakra, ascension chakra, vagus nerve chakra. It is known as the seat of the soul, our higher intelligence and imagination or the mind for the fact that it holds a record of traumatic or painful events, dimensional to the subliminal content, see intelligence model below, and ancestral narration. High heart chakra, also called the ascended heart chakra, relates to an organ. The thymus gland which before birth and throughout childhood, the thymus is instrumental in the production and maturation of T lymphocytes or T cells, a specific type of white blood cell that protects the body from certain threats, including viruses and infections. It plays a role in immunity, autoimmunity, and aging. It is basically our twin flame and fountain of youth. It is the mind because it interprets and filters our experiences and environment. It is connection of perception between all affective, behavioral, and cognitive experiences including the mainstream universal emotions of anger and shame on that of the pons, RIS, ARAS, vagus nerve, and gut-brain axis. It is the internal fire sacred fire that gives us our purpose for God awareness, RIS, and unity, ARAS, intelligence, knowledge, connection. A healthy thymus gives us system regulation or unhealthy thymus system dysregulation, disintegration, of all our systems. Contents, models, and operations amongst our very own body, mind, and spirit, see cubed model of intelligence illustration below. Needing to be addressed learning differences including our electromagnetic system. All our senses and corresponding systems give us vital information about our surroundings. RM field gives us sense included in our interoception and exteroception. 
Exteroception is sensitivity to stimuli originating outside of the body. Sensitivity, sensitiveness, sensibility, physiology, responsiveness to external stimuli. The faculty of sensation. Sensitivity to pain visual modality, visual sense, vision, sight, the ability to see. The visual faculty. Interoception is the perception of sensations from inside the body and includes the perception of physical sensations related to internal organ functions such as heartbeat, respiration, satiety, as well as the autonomic nervous system activity related to emotions. Vatel 1996. Cameron 2, Craig 2, Barrett et al. 9, as well as RM and torsion field is our senses not what we think of as senses as the vehicle, ear, eyes, nose, mouth skin, balance, that sends messages through our nerve endings, CNS, and then to the brain. RM and torsion field, you will read more on later, includes our chakra system. These senses depend very closely on the thymus our mind to make sense of our own world and experiences including relationships with others. Our senses give us our perceptions of our universal emotions, plus are we going to live in fear or love? Our senses include our cellular memory and how we act. Again, for the divergent thinker it is where our mind consciousness makes our decisions not logic. What is the law of conservation of energy? It states that energy can be converted in form, but not created or destroyed. I need for you to think about the universal emotions as energy that can be transformed or changed amongst being hereditarily passed down through generations and stored in the thymus, vagus nerve chakra as well as translate into our very own DNA. Electromagnetic energy is part of our quantum self. There are three forms of electromagnetic energy. Visible light, infrared radiation, and radio waves. Let us focus on seven spheres of invisible light converted into visible light and as you focus, so you are there in super consciousness, see below, as five-dimensional light glory and victory. In the same way, Matthew 5:16. Affirmation, I am honor, I have light, image, 12 to 3 point, M field is our effective spiritual components which include the following. A healthy and functional physiological, sensory motor system meaning our exteroception and interoception, our senses, including our sensory system, especially visual and auditory, along with central and peripheral nervous systems which is regulated by RAS and ACC slash HPA, PONS parts of the brain, thymus, and biofield, including electromagnetic field, internal chakras. RASHPA and ACC, the body, brain, and breath of Jesus, 1 to 3, heals the past. Pons, the heart and breath of Holy Ghost, 4 to 8, counsels you presently. Thymus, the mind and soul of God, 9 to 12, the future. Asterisk C image below the trim. Prayer works in image. RASACC slash HPA concrete thought, conscious develops around age 2. I, awareness of transmutation. Body, A affirm, B I am worthy. C mer, B I am, C grace equals, concrete thought, conscious develops around age 2. Physical self, chakras 1 3. Anger slash strength, joy, bliss, peace, shame slash empathy. Vestibular. Dysgraphia, dysphagia, CP, self regulation, attention. God, what is my, your, reality? What are my gifts? Physical, emotional, rational mind, personal power, and will ego center. Including the senses. The vestibular system is a sensory system that is responsible for providing our brain with information about motion, head position, and spatial orientation. It also is involved with motor functions that allow us to keep our balance, stabilize our head and body during movement, and maintain posture. Awareness of body balance and movement are monitored by the vestibular system. The vestibular senses, the sensations of body rotation and of gravitation and movement, arise in the inner ear. The sense organs are the hair cells that send out signals over the auditory nerve. The somatosensory system is the part of the sensory system concerned with the conscious perception of touch, pressure, pain, temperature, position, movement, and vibration, 
which arise from the muscles, joints, skin, and fascia. The tactile stimuli are detected by mechanoreceptors and produce sensations of touch and pressure. The proprioceptive system is in our muscles and joints. It provides us with a sense of body awareness and detects slash controls force and pressure. The proprioceptive system also has an important regulatory role in sensory processing as proprioceptive input can assist in controlling responses to sensory stimuli. The proprioceptive sense tells us about our body position. It is stimulated every time we move. Each time we use our muscles or stretch and bend our joints. Receptors for this sense are all over our body, deep within our joints and muscles. The tactile system refers to our sense of touch. Tactile does not just refer to our hands. The main way we perceive this input is through our skin, which has many receptors all over our bodies for all different kinds of sensations. Tactile sense related to touch, specifically the information received from varying pressure or vibration against the skin. Tactile sensation is considered a somatic sensation, meaning it originates at the surface of the body, rather than internally. Somatic and vestibular issues see pons including basal ganglia below. Pons abstract thought, spiritual conscious begins develops around age 7, makes a jump at 12. I, awareness of revelation. Heart of Holy Ghost the truth, humble, af, b, c, release, b, c, vic, releases grief slash compassion. Abstract thought Kant. Spiritual conscious begins develops around age 7 makes a jump at 12. Mental self, chakras 4-6, cognitive brain. Visual, auditory senses equals pawns, chakras 9-11, to body. Dyslexia, higher functioning autism, oppositional and aggressive behavior. God, what are my, your, dreams? What are my gifts? Creativity, visionary, aspiration, wisdom dream center. The visual system comprises the sensory organ, the eye, and parts of the central nervous system for visual processing. Again, remember the proprioception also referred to as kinesthesia, or kinesthesia, is the sense of self-movement and body such as visual sense and the vestibular system, to create an overall representation of body position, movement, and acceleration. The auditory system is the sensory system for the sense of hearing. It includes both the sensory organs, the ears, and the auditory parts of the sensory system. The auditory parts help us to process sounds and language. Auditory sense is the ability to hear. The auditory faculty. Auditory modality, sense of hearing, hearing. Auditory system, the sensory system for hearing sense modality, sensory system, modality, a particular sense. Somatic and vestibular issues see pons including basal ganglia below. Including the senses. Lower personal self. The wishes. Social slash emotional self. Chakras 6-8, soul mind. All factory. All learning difficulties, higher functioning autism, anxiety. God, what is my, your, purpose? What are my wishes? Higher purpose and will acceptance of Christ center and his will and purpose. The olfactory system, or sense of smell, is the sensory system used for smelling, olfaction. Olfaction sense is one that has directly associated specific organs. Most mammals and reptiles have a main olfactory system and an accessory olfactory system. The gustatory system is the sensory system responsible for the perception of taste and flavor. In humans, the gustatory system is composed of taste cells in the mouth, which sense the five taste modalities. Salty, sweet, bitter, sour, and umami, several cranial nerves, and the gustatory cortex. There are tons of research on how olfactory and gustatory senses are related to emotions. Thymus superconscious thought Kant. Around I, the light, mind, af, faith and hope. B. Hope. C. Patience. B. Seed. Virtue. Rever. Superconscious thought. Kant. Around age 21 24, makes a jump at 30. Divine unity of spirit God. Chakras 9 12 adults and TFSD. Grace. Mercy. 
gratitude, purity, blamelessness, power, acceptance, curiosity, glory. All mental disorders and dementia, lower functioning autism, depression. God, what is my, your, question? What are my miracles and blessings? Now all glory to God, who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Ephesians 3.20 NLT Affirmation of, I am glory. I have God. Image. 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 13. Image. 14 to 3.1 Bio Relationship memories appear from cellular memory, thymus. Learning differences including our chakras systems and the vagal tone. The chakras spin like a wheel which fuels our mind, thymus, and M and torsion field. The chakras spins like a wheel and sets our mind's vagal tone, ultimately thymus, which can be hypo or hyper, varied. The chakras need to be balanced and equalized for our mind, thymus not to be dysregulating our senses nor other systems. When your child has a hypo or hyper, varied responsive system dysfunction, RSD, their learning and motivation, attunement, through their senses decreases due to disconnections to others themselves along with soul body disconnection of consciousness. The hypo anger sympathetic functional dominance, SFD, means certain chakras, usually first to eighth chakras, are spinning too fast in which the lower self needs strength. The hypo shame parasympathetic functional dominance, PFD, means they are spinning too low and need empathy. If varied total functional dominance, TDF, the lower self, first to eighth chakras, is going deactivated or going inactive along with thymus and need both strength and empathy including joy, bliss, and peace. Note, the eighth chakra includes the vagus nerve, thymus, in turn includes all to major and soma chakras. Physical ruled by second chakra. Suggestion. Dash 1. Dash 2. Dash 3. Mental. Sug dash 4. Dash. Plus. Emotional. Dash 6. Da dash. Ba suggestion. Dash 10. Dash. Authentic. Suggestion. Da divine honor. The Lord. Bl Lord. Ma Lord. Numbers. 20. Affirmate. I am blessed. I have peace. Image. 15 to 3. First is base. As note. Glory ha open up, open up, Psalms 20, our electromagnetic system our senses affects other parts of the brain that have a part in some of the most important aspects of learning which includes the following tasks. Analysis, breakdown category and sequencing. Sensory processing. Memory slash learning, short and long term memory. Motor control. Autonomy, meaning, and attunement, motivation. Image. 16 to th image 17 limbic system up for sympathetic state and down for parasympathetic neutral and equalized sympathetic state mental bodies anger fight and flight hyperactive thymus upper heart chakra resulting in hyperactive systems and senses parasympathetic state emotional bodies shame freeze hypoactive thymus upper heart chakra resulting in hyperactive systems and senses. Goal, a neutral state, when learning under stress, of equanimity of the structures and interacting areas of the limbic system are involved in motivation, emotion, learning, and memory. The limbic system is where the subcortical structures meet the cerebral cortex. The limbic system also interacts with the basal ganglia. Not a functional system dominance, FSD. When the RAS and ACC, anger, slash HPA, shame, and the brain stem, reptilian brain, regulates our sympathetic, anger, and parasympathetic, shame, systems as it responds to stress. Such as when reading. It also acts as a vehicle for sensory information. Note, students with sympathetic functional system dominance, anger SFD have mostly hypersensory processing and parasympathetic functional system dominance, shame PFD, has hyposensory processing and total functional system dominance, both anger and shame TFD, and varied processing. This disequilibrium of the systems can make appropriate learning behavior challenging such as self-regulation, attention and executive functioning, 
oppositional and aggressive behavior, anxiety, and possibly even depression. Nororesponsive system dysfunction, RSD. Lastly, it helps to be familiar with the midbrain, mammalian brain, which includes medulla oblongata and pons do their jobs effectively such as basal ganglia regulating motor functions. Students with sympathetic functional system dominance, anger SFD, have mostly hypersensory processing and hyperactivity in their proprioceptive, somatic, vestibular, and gross motor abilities, ADHD hyperactive type and cerebral palsy, and parasympathetic functional system dominance, shame PFD, have mostly hyposensory processing and hypoactivity in their proprioceptive, somatic, vestibular, and fine motor abilities, ADHD inattentive type and dysgraphia. Varied is, of course, total functional system dominance which is most common with dysgraphia, anger and shame TFD. Hippocampus parasympathetic functional system dominance, shame PFD have mostly hyposensory processing and hypoactivity of the hippocampus which helps humans process and retrieve two kinds of memory, declarative memories, and spatial relationships. Declarative memories are those related to facts and events. Examples include learning how to memorize speeches or lines in a play. Spatial relationship memories involve pathways or roots. Spatial relationship memories appear to be stored in the right hippocampus. The hippocamp is also where short-term memories are turned into long-term memories. Relative to the hippocampus, these memories are then stored as polarities in the brain experiences and reality of consciousness the past, future, and present. CRAS specially ACC above associated with the Alta Major Chakra and shame and C pons and thymus below. Jesus, mental body, RAS the aka neocortex, body and brain breath. It is the cognitive and physical what which is the the way. 2. Holy Ghost, Emotional Body, Pons aka Limbic System, Body and Mind Breath. It is the effective and the physical why which is the truth. 2. God, Etherical Body, Thymus aka Reptilian, H Heart and Mind Authentic Breath. It is the God Soul Connection, Authentic Self Connection which is infinite the light. God is the the life so needs to be reversed but still three is key to all learning. Image. 18 to 3. Asterisk aside. Interest. Cyan mag. Apple. Relevantly. Inestroza. Altogether. These five. W. As a result. Cy. Apple. Ask me. Also ask me. 3. 4. Pineal body. Pituitary and adrenal glands. See hypothalamus below synthesizes melatonin, serotonin, and dopamine and cortisol which helps you respond to stress, reading for example, and has many other important functions. Also, melatonin studies recently show that melatonin exhibits many bioactivities, such as antioxidant activity, anti-inflammatory characteristics, boosting immunity, anti-cancer activity, cardiovascular protection, anti-diabetic, anti-obese, neuroprotective, and anti-aging activity. Note, students with sympathetic functional system dominance, SFD, are deficient in dopamine, melatonin, and have higher norepinephrine production, diligence fight, flight, flee and hyperarousal. Students with parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, are deficient in serotonin, melatonin, and have hyponorepinephrine production, hypoarousal, memory retrieval, diligence slash motivation freeze. Note, the pineal gland helps with a meditative state if the head is covered it is great for calm, I will write more about calm ahead. Varied is, of course, total functional system dominance, TFSD, which is most varied in hormones and the hardest time being calm with mood swings along gaining equanimity also can be diagnosed congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Retrieved from April, change in brains, 2000. Remember, ACC is part of RAS, pineal gland, pituitary gland associated with the Alta Major Chakra, HPA is also part of the RAS, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis associated with the Soma Chakra, both are associated to the Thymus Chakra aka Vagus Nerve Chakra. Image. 19. Thalamus integrates and sends sensory information such as autonomic functions, para-sympathetic, 
aka sensory relay nucleus. Olivary body motor learning and perception of sound, auditory and visual processing specifically. Hypothalamus speed processing of information also you need to remember the important RIS info, which includes the following excerpt. The RIS is said to be the gas pedal slow, accelerate or varied cognitive speed processing that ignites the diencephalon, the hypothalamus and thalamus, as well as, the cortical areas where all long-term memory slash storage takes place of the brain, Petty 1996. The lateral hypothalamus mediates an array of cognitive and physical processes that widely projects throughout the nervous system. Also, includes the hippocampus, see above, which is in the limbic system and regulates perceptions, such as the perception of shame, long-term memory. Students with sympathetic functional system dominance, SFD, react with anger and have hyperspeed, accelerated, processing and long-term memory issues, both also varied from trying to regulate accelerated slow so on and so forth. Students with parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, filters with perceptions of shame, have slow speed processing, also the controversial slow cognitive speed tempo, and bypassing the facts needed for short-term memory, affects sequencing skills, background knowledge, headed straight to filtering based on meaning and perceptions, again shame, short-term memory issues are a prefrontal lobe executive functioning issue. Again, the frontal lobe to perceive the universal emotions which are the following. Anger, strength, joy, bliss, shame, courage, compassion, and harmony, executive functioning logic through analysis or evaluation, where the mind deems how important, what or why. Basically, Remember the pons ras alta major chakra, pineal and pituitary gland, pituitary chakra, crown chakra specifically for parasympathetic functional system dominance, PFD, and pons hba soma chakra, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis for sympathetic functional system dominance, SFD. Varied speed processing, hypo, hyper, is, of course, Total functional system dominance which is most common with dysgraphia, anger and shame TFD, 